Yo, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. I'm so excited for this one. I've been waiting for this for a while. I finally have this Jazz Miner X41U, courtesy of Jingle Mining, sent this over to me. And if the stats are to be believed, this is going to be one of the best Ethereum miners that I've ever tested. So Jingle Mining is the sponsor of this video. Big thank you to them for sending this over to me. So you can check them out, jinglemining.com. And what they have is they have a few different Ethereum miners, and I've heard about them for a while, but I haven't been able to get my hands on one to test. So big thank you to them again for sending this over. And the one I have right now is this Jazz Miner X41U, which can mine uh, at hash or ETC hash. So even with Ethereum going away soon, probably for mining, you can still mine other at hash based algorithms, Ethereum Classic being probably one of the biggest ones. But let's learn a little bit more about this miner, do it some justice from their website here. And then obviously I'll leave chapters if you want to jump right ahead to seeing the performance of it. But what it's promised is about 520 mega hash at 240 watts, which is insane performance on Ethereum. And I cannot wait to put that to the test. And I think based on some information they provided me, I can even go way beyond that performance. Um, and we'll talk about that later in this video when we get to testing it. So that's it. That's pretty much it. It's, it's, it's designed to fit inside like a server rack, which I do have one with that. I have a server and I have all my networking equipment in there, but I want to see how loud this might get because it's right where I record videos. Um, but if you guys are interested in picking one of these up, this is where you can do it. Jingle mining. And they have some in stock as I'm making this video. And you can see the price as I'm making this video. And then if you want to uh, save a little bit of money, you can be on a later replenishment, which would ship in 45 days. We'll go over some more stats on this miner as we get it set up. Uh, let me do a top-down look and give you an overview of exactly what this is and what kind of configuration it has. So looking from the top down, let's check this out. You flip this around. So you're looking at the front of it here, and this is the intake. This is where all the air comes in. It has fans built in, so it's going to pull air right through this slot and exhaust it out the back. A couple uh, buttons and switches it has on the front here. It's got a reset, just some LED status indicators if it's running normally, if there is a fault, and then it has an IP report button that you can push for getting this located on the network. I mean, you can see just how compact this is, which is really crazy thinking about, like, GPU mining rigs. I'm thinking about huge ASICs. I was so surprised at how small this miner is for the performance that it can do. So on the back here, it's got a built-in power supply. So you can see power goes right in there. It's got a TF card slot, really tiny. I'm not sure if you can see it there. I'm not actually sure what that is. If you guys know, let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, and then Ethernet. No Wi-Fi built in, but it has Ethernet right there. And then this is the exhaust. So there's built-in fans will exhaust all the air right out the back of this unit and keep everything really, really cool. There's a couple other things the folks over at Jingle Mining wanted me to mention, and I'm going to do them justice uh, on this unit. So it's got the world's first memory computing integrated high throughput processor, um, which allows the chip to run at both 200 megahertz and 225 megahertz, which is what we're going to test where I can think I get a little more performance out of this than is even advertised. Um, as well as the memory access bandwidth is one terabyte per second. And each chip, there's eight chips inside this, can do about 65 mega hash each, which gets you to that like 520 mega hash number. But again, I think we can push it even a little bit further. And then they say it's quiet and easy to use. And obviously I'm going to put that to a test because I'm, I'm curious, how quiet is this thing? Because ASICs are not quiet. GPU mine rigs are pretty quiet, but ASICs are not quiet. And FPGAs, in my experience, have also not been quiet. So I'm really curious to see what this does in for, as far as sound and performance and power and all that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get this powered up. I got a meter right here so we can test the claims of the power pull on it. And I'll get Ethernet plugged in. We'll figure it out and go from there. Over on Jingle Mining's website, they have a user manual for this Jazz Miner X4. And I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward if you've ever set up an ASIC or an FPGA before, what you do is you power it on, plug it in to your ethernet, and it will join your network. 
Um, and what you need to do is use an IP scanner of any choice. You can get them on the app store, you get them on your computer, um, which will scan all the devices on your network. And then it will just, you'll look for the one that says Jazz Miner. And that's how you can get the IP address. I also have a program you can use to do it, but I don't really think that's necessary. And so I did that, found the IP address of it using an app, and then plugged that into my browser that's on the same network. And it brought me right to the configuration page for this Jazz Miner. And the only other thing that you need to do to get this set up and going is go over to the Miner tab, put in your pool, and put in your worker, your wallet address, and that's it. And it will just start mining. The other thing you can do, which I'm definitely going to do in this video, is switch the frequency that it mines at. So there's 200 and 225. The 200 should give me the advertised performance of this Jazz Miner. The 225 should beat it. I'm curious if I lose any efficiency in doing that. But I'll definitely be testing that out in a little bit. Also, like I mentioned earlier in this video, this can do both Ethereum and Ethereum Classic is built in. Now, if I go back over to the status, you can see I've been mining for about eight minutes, but there's no hash rate reported yet. And you see in the log, it's doing a lot of stuff, but none of that stuff is any work received by the pool. Um, so I was wondering about that. And if I go back over to the user manual here, what it says is, it takes about 30 minutes of activity, and then I will see the device hash rate on the status page. And then I imagine it will show up over on Ethermine, the pool I'm using. So I'm gonna let this go for about 30 minutes so and see what shows up there. Um, the other thing that I'm doing for this video is testing the wattage at the wall, and which makes me think it's definitely not doing anything yet because it's only reporting 51 watts, uh, which you can see reported right there at the wall. So we'll continue to test this once that half hour mark hits, I'm also curious, is this thing gonna get louder? Cause it's it's dead quiet right now, I don't hear a thing. So I'll be back in a little bit once this thing kicks into gear. Been mining a little over three hours right now, so let's take a look at how we are doing. So coming over to the dashboard here, you can see the average hash rate, which does keep going up, but it's about 510 mega hash per second right now, which I'm really stoked on. And then if you go over to the pool side here, you see the current reported hash rate, is 527 mega hash per second. And the average is 412, and that just keeps going up over time as I've been monitoring it. So looking really good, looking like I'm getting the performance I'm supposed to be getting out of this Jazz Miner. But there are two things I wanted to do before we move on to testing the higher frequency. One is give you a sense of just how loud this is. So to do that, let me turn off noise suppression on my microphone. I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear this a little bit better. It sounds kind of like a server power supply under full tilt, just not as high pitched, but definitely nowhere near like what an ASIC would sound like. And if you want to get an idea of decibels, it's currently reading, I'm using a decibel meter on my phone, 81 decibels in the front, and then on the back, about 82 decibels is what I'm reading on there. Uh, and then as far as power, we have 272 watts at the wall, the only thing on here is the Jazz Miner, so 272 watts at the wall for currently 510 mega hash on Ethereum. So the next thing I wanna do is try the higher frequency, which is 225 megahertz, and that should give me some more performance, and I'm curious to see if I'm gonna lose any efficiency and how much more wattage this might pull. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update it here, and then I'm gonna give this all a reboot so it starts fresh. I'll let it mine for another little while and see what the average hash rate and power I'm able to get on it. Been up and mining for a little bit about two hours now, so let's take a look at how we are doing results-wise using this frequency. So you can see hash rate average right now is 563 mega hash, so gained about 60 mega hash. Uh, and then if we take a look at power usage at the wall, didn't add that much, added about 25 to 30 watts, you can see they're pulling 304 watts exactly. And it stays pretty pinned on that wattage. So I don't have to do any math. I already know that this is absolutely the better way to run this miner is running at the higher frequency to get more hash rate for only a little bit more power. So yeah, I think that's it. Let's wrap this one up. Again, big thank you to Jingle Mining for sending this over to me. Check them out at jinglemining.com. Thank you for sending over the most interesting yet boring looking Ethereum miner that I've ever got my hands on, but definitely the most profitable Ethereum miner I've ever got my hands on considering the amount of hash rate I'm able to get out of this to the amount of wattage that it uses. And you're probably thinking, Mike, but what does this make 
per day. I'm going to give you the numbers. You can plug them into what's mine or your calculator of choice because, you, as you know, that number changes all the time. So I don't know when you're watching this video, but at least for this video's sake, you can plug in 563 mega hash on Ethereum for 300 watts, which is really, really incredible, super efficient. Elephant in the room time. Why are you talking about this when Ethereum's going proof of stake? That's a great question. Is this worth your investment? I don't know. You decide for yourself. Do the math. Keep in mind, this can also mine Ethereum Classic. So even when Ethereum goes away, you do have Ethereum Classic that you can mine with this machine. I'm not going to tell you whether you should buy this or not because you're a really smart person and you can decide that for your own. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU, FPGA, ASIC mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram links are down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.